Hi guys, welcome back to Cracks in the Cloister. Might wonder why I started with a mask. So, in my previous Cracks in the Cloister, and I apologize for taking so long to get this out, um, one of my seniors asked me to talk about how I used to celebrate Halloween in the seminary. And I thought of a good lesson which we can learn from this. See here, me wearing that mask with my robe at the seminary. What I used to do, realizing that I always wear a long black robe looking like the Grim Reaper, I had a reasonably good mask made to be the Grim Reaper. And every Halloween, my friends, as I was in seminary for six years, so I made several friends and various teaching roles and administrative roles. They knew to be on guard during Halloween week. Because one day a year, I would wear a mask. And I would show up with my candy disc and I would just go, trick or treat. And they didn't have a candy bar or something put in my basket. I'd take one of those champagne poppers and go, and walk away. Now, it's important to note that this wasn't everybody, it wasn't all my teacher friends. No, respect was important. But I had fun. I enjoyed my life. Here's where the lesson comes in. I was able to do it because I bothered to read the student handbook. Thinking of two examples. So, different years but teachers handled it very differently. Seminary professors handled it very differently. And I'm not gonna say what professor did what, but one year I did my normal Halloween thing. I went trick or treating, etc. I come back, I'm sitting in class and one of the professors comes in, a priest, and he looks me good. <laughs> Funny, take it off. And I was like, whoa, excuse you? Take it off. Like, mm, no. I looked on like, the handbook doesn't list a dress code for graduate students. As I'm not an in-house diocesan seminarian, the house rules don't apply. The only rules that apply are the official rules. I'm allowed a Halloween costume so long as it's tasteful per the provost's website. Another year, different priest looks at me and is like, quick question, sorry. The Orthodox patriarch from Syria is here. He's thinking of sending his guys. I, and I just went, whoop, nope, nope, hip, 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 hip. He asked. But again, I was able to have that mentality about have that because I bothered to read the handbook. I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy your time at college. I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy your time maybe in high school. You should enjoy your life. Have fun. Do foolish things. Have stories to tell your friends and family about. Safely, within reason. But to do it, make sure you take the time and actually read the documents they give you and they make you sign, saying you read. Because otherwise you can find yourself in trouble. Again, I loved showing up trick-or-treating. There is nothing like walking into a class full of freshmen in college and just have this random dude show up and be like, give me candy. And then him throw off party poppers as the professor just starts laughing. It's great. But you can only do stuff like that. You can only push the boundaries if you know what they are. Know what the rules are. Play it safe, but know what they are. And I thought my Halloween story would be a good one on that. Because again, it's fun to dress up, act the fool, and have a good time. Everyone needs that, particularly in college. You know, obviously now, with everything going on with the world, you got to be extra safe. But... You know, everybody needs to relax. But 
You got to do it in a safe way. And you got to do it in a way where you make sure you don't get in trouble. Read your rules. Know how the rules have to be posted. Know how they have to be followed. Know the letter of the law. Now, you should always do above and beyond the letter of the law. But know where you're all right so that you can push stuff without breaking stuff. Hope this is good. Hope this uh, fulfilled the request. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.